Hello, my beloved child. I'm Jesus, your Savior. Here is a message from God to you. Don't close this video without listening because it's for you. In fact, if you love God and His Son, Jesus Christ, watch this video until the end and don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment on this video. God bless you. I love you, my sons. I love you, my daughters. Now we can hear the message from God. Thank you. You are citizens of this kingdom, and your life on earth is a reflection of the values of the eternal kingdom that is to come. Live as ambassadors of this kingdom, and reflect the light of the king to the world. I am the true vine. I am the one who provides the nourishment and support that you need to live a fruitful life. Just as a vine produces grapes, I produce good works in you. Through the connection you have with me, you will bear much fruit for the kingdom of God. As the true vine, I provide all the resources you need to live a life that honors God. When you are connected to me, you will be able to bear fruit that lasts and is pleasing to the Father. I prune those who are in me so that they can grow and bear even more fruit. Your growth and fruitfulness are the result of my work in you, and you can do nothing apart from me. Abide in me, and you will bear much fruit for the glory of God. I am the Good Shepherd. I am the one who lays down my life for the sheep. I care for you with a love that is sacrificial and selfless. As the Good Shepherd, I guide you to green pastures, protect you from danger, and lead you to the waters of life. When you are lost, I search for you until I find you. I know my sheep, and I call them by name. I have a deep, personal relationship with you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. My love for you is so great that I was willing to lay down my life for your salvation. In times of trial, I am with you, comforting and leading you. I carry you when you cannot walk on your own. You are safe in my care, and I will protect you from the enemy. Trust in my leadership, and I will guide you through all the challenges of life. I am the judge. I am the one who will judge the living and the dead. I have been given all authority to execute judgment, and one day, I will return to bring justice to the earth. In my judgment, I will separate the righteous from the wicked. Those who have placed their faith in me will inherit eternal life, while those who have rejected me will face eternal separation from God. My judgment is just, and I will judge each person according to their deeds. But I am also merciful, and I offer forgiveness to all who repent and turn to me. While judgment is certain, my desire is for all people to come to repentance and be saved. Through my sacrifice on the cross, I offer you the opportunity to be forgiven and to escape the penalty of judgment. The choice is yours, but know that I am the righteous judge who sees all and will judge fairly. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I am the Eternal One who transcends time and space. Everything that exists was created by me and for me, and all things will ultimately be brought to completion in me. I have existed from before the foundation of the world, and I will exist long after the world has passed away. I am the center of all history, and every event in history points to me. I was there at the beginning of creation, and I will be there at the end, bringing all things to their rightful conclusion. In me, you have your beginning, and in me, you will find your end. I am the one who holds all things together, and I will bring everything into perfect harmony when I return in glory. I am the Lamb of God. I am the perfect sacrifice who takes away the sins of the world. Through my death on the cross, I provided the atonement for your sins, and through my blood, you are cleansed and forgiven. In the Old Testament, the Lamb was sacrificed for the forgiveness of sins, but I am the fulfillment of that sacrifice. I am the spotless Lamb, without blemish or defect, and I have offered myself as the ultimate sacrifice for you. Through my sacrifice, I have made a way for you to be reconciled to God. I took on the punishment for your sins, and in return, 
I offer you the gift of eternal life. My death on the cross was the culmination of God's plan for redemption, and through it, you can have peace with God. I am the Prince of Peace. I am the one who brings peace to your heart, your relationships, and the world. I am the source of peace, and in me, you can find rest for your soul. The world is full of turmoil and conflict, but in me, you find a peace that transcends understanding. I give you peace with God, peace with others, and peace within yourself. Through my death on the cross, I made peace between you and the Father, reconciling you to God. I also call you to be peacemakers in the world, to live in harmony with others and to share the peace that I give. When you are anxious or troubled, come to me, and I will give you rest. My peace is not like the peace the world gives, but it is a peace that endures and remains in the midst of any circumstance. I am the light of the world. I am the light that shines in the darkness, the one who brings clarity and understanding to a world full of confusion. When you walk in the light, you walk in the truth, and the darkness cannot overcome you. I came into the world to expose the darkness of sin and to bring people to the light of salvation. I am the light that reveals the way to the Father, and through me, you can see the world as it truly is. In me, you find wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I illuminate the path that leads to eternal life and guide you in all the decisions you make. Trust in my light, and you will never have to stumble in the darkness again. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the one who gives life to the dead and offers the hope of resurrection. Through my resurrection from the dead, I conquered death and offered the promise of eternal life to all who believe in me. Just as I rose from the dead, so too will all who trust in me be raised to new life. I am the hope for those who grieve, the promise that death is not the end. In me, death is defeated, and the grave no longer has the final say. I am the one who gives you the victory over death and offers you the assurance of life everlasting. Through my resurrection, I have paved the way for your own resurrection. Trust in me, and you will never die, for I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the only way to the Father, and no one can come to him except through me. I am the embodiment of truth, and in me, you will find the ultimate reality that leads to eternal life. The world offers many paths, but only in me can you find the true way that leads to salvation. I am the life that gives hope and purpose, and when you follow me, you walk in the truth of God's plan for you. The truth I bring is not just a set of doctrines but a living reality that transforms your heart and mind. In a world full of confusion and deception, I am the truth that guides you. I am the life that sustains you, and through me, you have the promise of eternal life. When you walk with me, you walk in the light of truth and life, and you will find the peace and security that comes from knowing the truth of who God is and who you are in Him. I am the Good Shepherd, who knows my sheep. As the Good Shepherd, I care deeply for each of my followers, and I know them by name. I don't just watch over you from afar, I walk with you, protect you, and lead you personally. In times of trouble, I am there to guide you and to bring you comfort. I protect you from danger, and I am always watching over you. When you go astray, I will leave the ninety-nine to seek you out, because to me, you are precious. I call you to follow me, and I promise that when you hear my voice, you will recognize it and follow. I lay down my life for the sheep, showing the ultimate expression of love. Through my sacrifice, I have ensured that you are safe, and nothing can snatch you out of my hand. With me, you will never want for anything, for I will lead you to green pastures and beside still waters. I bring you peace, security, and eternal life. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. From the dawn of creation to the final culmination of all things, I am the eternal, unchanging one. 
I was there before the beginning of time, and I will be there at the end of time. Everything in between is under my sovereign control, and all things are moving towards the fulfillment of my divine purpose. The whole of history is a story of my redemptive work, and it will ultimately end in glory when I return to establish my eternal kingdom. As the Alpha, I initiated the work of creation, and as the Omega, I will bring all things to their intended conclusion. Trust in me, for I hold the future, and I am bringing everything to its perfect fulfillment. Through me, the work of salvation has been accomplished, and in the end, all things will be made new. I am the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I am the ultimate sacrifice for sin, the spotless Lamb who was slain for the forgiveness of your sins. In the Old Testament, the Lamb was offered as a sacrifice for sin, but I have come to fulfill that sacrificial system by offering my own life. I took upon myself the sins of the world and bore the punishment that was meant for you. Through my blood, you are forgiven and the penalty of sin is paid. My sacrifice is once and for all, sufficient to cleanse you from every sin. No longer do you need to offer sacrifices, for I am the Lamb who takes away sin completely. Through my sacrifice, you can have peace with God, and your relationship with Him can be restored. Because of my death, you are reconciled to the Father, and you are free from the guilt and shame of sin. I am the Prince of Peace. I bring a peace that the world cannot give, a peace that transcends understanding. When you are troubled or anxious, I offer peace for your heart. I give you rest from the burdens of this world, and I bring reconciliation between you and God. I am the one who brings peace into relationships, healing divisions, and making all things new. In a world full of conflict and turmoil, I am the source of lasting peace. Through my death on the cross, I made peace between God and man, and through me, you can experience peace with others. The peace I offer is not fleeting but eternal. It is a peace that guards your heart and mind in the midst of trials and challenges. I am the Prince of Peace, and my reign will bring lasting peace to the earth when I return. I am the Bread of Life. Just as physical bread sustains your body, I am the spiritual nourishment that sustains your soul. When you come to me, you will never hunger again, for I give you the fullness of life that only I can provide. I am the bread that came down from heaven, and those who partake of me will live forever. In a world that constantly seeks fulfillment through material things, I offer the true satisfaction that only I can give. By feeding on my words, you find the nourishment that leads to eternal life. I satisfy your deepest desires and fill you with a joy that the world cannot offer. When you eat of this bread, you are partaking in my life, and you are sustained by my presence in your life. My bread gives life, and through it, you are spiritually nourished, strengthened, and prepared for the journey of faith. I am the light of the world. In a world full of darkness and confusion, I am the light that guides you to the truth. I illuminate the path of righteousness, showing you the way to the Father. I expose the darkness of sin and bring you into the marvelous light of salvation. When you walk in my light, you will never stumble, for I am the light that leads you. I shine into the darkest corners of your heart and reveal the truth that sets you free. I am the source of wisdom and understanding, and through my light, you will see things as they truly are. Those who follow me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. My light gives hope, direction, and clarity, and in me, you will find the answers to life's deepest questions. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the one who gives life to the dead and offers the hope of resurrection. Through my resurrection, I have conquered death and opened the way for eternal life. Death is not the end, but a transition to a new beginning for all who believe in me. Just as I was raised from the dead, so too will those who trust in me be raised to new life. I offer you victory over death, for death has no power over those who belong to me. 
In me, you have the promise of eternal life, a life that is not bound by the limitations of time and space. I am the resurrection that brings life to all who are spiritually dead. I bring life to your soul, and through my power, you will live forever in the presence of God. I am the true vine. Just as a vine is the source of life for its branches, I am the source of life for you. If you remain in me, you will bear much fruit. You cannot bear fruit on your own, you must be connected to me. When you abide in me, you are nourished and strengthened to live a life that honors God. Apart from me, you can do nothing. My Father is the gardener who prunes you, removing anything that hinders your growth, so that you can bear even more fruit. Through this process, you become more like me, and your life reflects the character of God. The fruit that you bear is a testimony to the power of the Holy Spirit in you. As you remain in me, your life will be marked by love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the fruits of the Spirit that come from abiding in the true vine. When you are connected to me, your life is fruitful and fulfilling, bringing glory to the Father. I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way to the Father except through me. I am the only true path to salvation. All other ways lead to death, but I am the way that leads to life. I am the ultimate truth, and through me, you will know the truth that sets you free. My life is the example you are to follow, and through me, you can live the life that God intended for you. The truth I offer is not just intellectual knowledge, but a deep, personal relationship with God. I am the way that leads to eternal life, and in me, you will find the fulfillment of your greatest purpose. My death on the cross opened the way to the Father, and through my sacrifice, you have access to God's presence forever. I am the Good Shepherd. As the Good Shepherd, I am intimately involved in the lives of those who follow me. I know my sheep by name, and they know my voice. I protect them from harm, guiding them through life's challenges, and leading them to green pastures and still waters. I lead my sheep to safety, ensuring they are nourished and cared for. I am not like a hired hand who runs away at the sight of danger, I stand firm to protect my flock. I laid down my life for my sheep because of my deep love for each individual. My sacrifice demonstrates the extent of my care for you. The relationship I offer is one of intimacy, trust, and security. I call you to follow me, for I will guide you to a life that is abundant and full of peace. No one can snatch you from my hand, and I will never abandon you, even in the darkest valleys. When you are lost, I will seek you out and bring you home. I am the Good Shepherd, and you are precious to me. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end, the Eternal One who is not bound by time. Before the world was formed, I was already there, and I will be there when everything comes to a conclusion. From the first breath of creation to the final breath of history, I am the one who holds all things together. I see the entire scope of human history from beginning to end, and I am working all things for good. The future is in my hands, and I have a perfect plan for your life. When you feel lost or uncertain, remember that I am the Alpha and the Omega, and I am working out everything for your good and my glory. You can trust in my sovereignty, knowing that nothing happens outside of my will. I began the work of creation, and I will complete it in the new heavens and the new earth. The story of redemption is unfolding, and you are a part of it. Rest assured that the beginning and the end are secure in my hands. I am the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Through my sacrifice, the sins of the world are forgiven. I am the Lamb who was slain to make atonement for your sins. In the Old Testament, the Lamb was offered as a sacrifice, but I am the perfect and final sacrifice, fulfilling the Law and Prophets. 
My blood was shed to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. When you place your trust in me, you are forgiven, and you are made new. No sin is too great for my forgiveness, and no one is beyond the reach of my grace. I came to bring redemption, to restore what was lost in the fall of mankind. The weight of your sins was placed upon me, and I bore them on the cross so that you could be set free from their penalty. My sacrifice was once and for all, and through it, you are reconciled to God. The Lamb of God takes away the sin of the world, and through his death, you are brought near to God. I am the Prince of Peace. In a world full of conflict, division, and strife, I am the Prince of Peace who brings true and lasting peace. The peace I offer is not the absence of conflict but the presence of harmony and wholeness that transcends the troubles of this world. I bring peace between you and God, reconciling you to Him through my death on the cross. No longer are you at odds with your Creator, but you are adopted into His family as a child of God. The peace I give surpasses understanding, and it guards your heart and mind in the midst of trials. When you trust in me, you experience peace even in the storm. This peace is available to you, regardless of your circumstances, because it comes from the assurance of my love and the knowledge that I am in control. I am the Prince of Peace, and my reign will bring lasting peace to all the earth when I return. I am the Bread of Life. Just as physical bread sustains your body, I am the spiritual nourishment that sustains your soul. Those who come to me will never hunger or thirst, for I am the source of true satisfaction. In me, you find the fulfillment of all your deepest desires. The bread I offer is not temporary, it is eternal, nourishing you for the life to come. When you eat of this bread, you partake in my life, and through me, you receive the gift of eternal life. In the wilderness, the Israelites ate manna from heaven, but I am the true bread from heaven, the bread that gives life to the world. My body was broken for you, and my blood was shed for your forgiveness. As you partake in me, you are spiritually nourished, and you will be satisfied in ways that the world cannot offer. Those who come to me will find true fulfillment and will never hunger again. I am the light of the world. I am the light that shines in the darkness, and I have come to illuminate the path to salvation. In a world filled with sin, confusion, and uncertainty, I am the truth that reveals the way. When you follow me, you will no longer walk in darkness but will have the light of life. I expose the darkness of sin and bring you into the light of God's truth and love. The darkness cannot overcome the light, for the light is greater than the darkness. Through my light, you are able to see the world as it truly is, and you are able to understand the purposes of God for your life. My light gives clarity, direction, and hope, and in it, you find the peace that comes from knowing that you are walking in the truth. As you walk in my light, you reflect that light to others, drawing them to the truth of the gospel. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the one who has power over death. Through my resurrection, I have conquered the grave, and I offer you the hope of eternal life. Death no longer has the final word, for I have defeated it. Those who believe in me will not perish but will have eternal life. I am the resurrection that brings life to all who are spiritually dead, and I am the life that sustains you now and forever. When you place your trust in me, you have the assurance of resurrection, both in this life and in the life to come. Even though you may face physical death, you will never experience true separation from me. My resurrection assures you that death is not the end, and that eternal life awaits all who trust in me. Through me, you have victory over death, and you can live with the hope of resurrection. I am the true vine. I am the source of life, and just as a vine provides nourishment to its branches, I provide all that you need for spiritual growth. If you remain in me, you will bear much fruit, for apart from me, you can do nothing. My Father is the gardener who prunes you so that you can bear even more fruit. 
The fruit you bear is evidence of the work of the Holy Spirit in your life, and it reflects my love and character. I am the vine, and you are the branches, as you stay connected to me, you are nourished, strengthened, and empowered to live a fruitful life. Without me, you cannot bear fruit, but when you remain in me, you will bear fruit that brings glory to God. Through your connection to me, you can experience spiritual growth, joy, and fulfillment, and you will be a light to others, drawing them to the love of God. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the only path to salvation, the only way to the Father. There are many voices in the world, but only I can show you the truth that leads to eternal life. I am the truth that sets you free from sin, from deception, and from the empty promises of the world. I am the life that gives you purpose and meaning, and through me, you have the hope of eternal life. No one comes to the Father except through me, and through me, you have the promise of a relationship with God that will last forever. I am the fulfillment of all that you need, and in me, you find the life that you were created to live. When you follow me, you walk in the light of truth, and you will never be led astray. The truth I bring is not just a set of beliefs but a living reality that changes your life from the inside out. I am the door. I am the entryway to eternal life, and through me, you have access to the Father. No one can come to God except through me, for I am the only door that leads to salvation. The door I open no one can shut, and the door I close no one can open. When you enter through me, you are safe and secure, for I lead you to a place of rest and protection. Those who come to me will find shelter, nourishment, and the promise of life with God forever. Just as a shepherd leads his sheep through the gate into a place of safety, I lead you into the presence of God. There is no other way but through me, and all who enter through me will be saved. I am the door that grants you freedom, peace, and eternal life. In me, you find the way to true fulfillment and security. I am the door to all the blessings of God, and I invite you to come and enter into a life of hope and transformation. I am the Comforter. In times of grief, sorrow, or loss, I am the one who brings comfort to your heart. I understand your pain and I am with you in your suffering. I have promised to send the Holy Spirit to be your Comforter, to guide you, and to give you peace. When you are weary or burdened, come to me, and I will give you rest. My presence is a source of strength in times of trial and my love is a balm for your wounds. You do not walk alone, I am with you, even in the darkest moments. My comfort is not fleeting or temporary, it is eternal and enduring. I offer peace that the world cannot give, a peace that calms your soul and gives you hope for the future. My spirit resides in you, and he will remind you of my promises and fill you with the assurance of my love. In your sorrow, I will wipe away your tears and give you the strength to endure. Come to me, and find comfort in my arms. I am the healer. I am the one who heals the brokenhearted, the wounded, and the sick. I came to bring healing not only to your physical body but to your spirit and soul as well. When you are hurting, I am near to bind up your wounds and restore you to wholeness. My healing is complete and transformative, touching every part of your being. Whether your pain is emotional, physical, or spiritual, I have the power to heal you. I took your infirmities upon myself, and by my stripes, you are healed. I healed the blind, the lame, the lepers, and I continue to heal today. Come to me with your hurts, and I will restore you. In my hands, there is healing for every sickness, and I offer you wholeness, peace, and restoration. You are not beyond the reach of my healing touch. No matter the severity of your condition, I am able to make you whole again. Trust in my power to heal and know that I am always with you, ready to restore and renew. I am the Advocate. I am your Defender, standing before the Father as your Advocate. When you stumble and fall, 
I intercede on your behalf, pleading your case before the throne of grace. I am the one who speaks up for you, even when you cannot defend yourself. I know the accuser's accusations, but I have already paid the price for your sins, and I stand as your advocate, ensuring that you are forgiven and reconciled to God. Through my work on the cross, you have been justified, and I continue to advocate for you in the presence of God. I stand in your place, bearing the weight of your sin and offering you the righteousness that is mine. When you confess your sins, I am faithful and just to forgive you, and I plead your case with the Father, assuring him that your sins have been paid for in full. I am your advocate, and nothing can separate you from my love. I am the King of Kings. I reign as the supreme authority over all creation. Every kingdom, nation, and ruler is subject to my reign, and my kingdom will never end. I am the King who serves, who humbled myself to become a servant to those I came to save. My kingdom is not of this world, and its values are different from those of the earthly kingdoms. In my kingdom, the first will be last, and the last will be first. The greatest among you will be the servant of all. I rule with justice, mercy, and love, and I invite you to be part of my eternal kingdom. When you follow me, you become citizens of this kingdom, and you live according to its values. As king, I have authority over all things, and I will one day return to establish my kingdom fully. Until then, I am your king, and you are called to live in a way that reflects my reign. Trust in my sovereignty and know that I am working all things according to my plan. I am the bridegroom. I am the one who loves the church, my bride, with an everlasting love. Just as a bridegroom delights in his bride, so I delight in my people. I have promised to return for my bride and to take her to be with me forever. The love I have for you is sacrificial, pure, and unwavering. I gave myself for the church, purifying her by my blood, and making her holy and blameless. In the same way that a bride and groom are united in love, I desire to be united with you, my people, in a deep and eternal relationship. I long for the day when we will be together forever, and I will wipe away every tear from your eyes. You are my beloved, and I have promised to come for you. Until that day, Live in the knowledge of my love for you, and let your heart be filled with anticipation for our union. My love for you is eternal, and it will never fail. I am the eternal life. In me, you find the very essence of life, both now and for eternity. I am the source of all life, and through me, you are given the gift of eternal life. I have come to give you life in abundance, a life that is rich in meaning, purpose, and joy. The life I offer is not just a future hope, but a present reality that transforms you from the inside out. When you receive me, you receive the fullness of life. In me, death has no power, for I have conquered it. Your eternal life begins the moment you place your faith in me, and it continues into eternity. You will never perish, but you will live with me forever. This eternal life is not just about living forever, it is about experiencing the fullness of relationship with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Through me, you have the opportunity to know God intimately, and this knowledge brings life. I am the way to eternal life, and I invite you to walk with me on this journey. I am the Restorer. I have come to restore all that was lost, broken, and destroyed by sin. Through my death and resurrection, I am making all things new. The brokenness of this world will be healed, and the effects of sin will be reversed. I am restoring the relationship between God and humanity, bringing reconciliation and peace. I am also restoring you personally, healing your wounds, mending your heart, and bringing you into the fullness of the life God intended for you. When you trust in me, I work to restore your brokenness, whether it is physical, emotional, or spiritual. I am the one who heals the deep wounds of your soul and makes you whole. Through me, 
God's creation will be restored to its original beauty and perfection. I am the Restorer, and I will complete the work I began in you and in the world. I am the Savior. I am the one who has come to save you from your sins. Through my death on the cross, I took the punishment that you deserved, and I offer you the gift of salvation. No one else can save you, for there is no other name under heaven by which you can be saved. I am the Savior of the world, and I invite you to receive the salvation I offer freely. It is not by your own works or efforts that you are saved, but by grace through faith in me. I have come to seek and to save the lost, and no one is too far from my reach. When you trust in me, you are saved, and you are made a new creation. The old has gone, and the new has come. I am the Savior, and I have come to give you life, both now and forever. I am the Good Shepherd. As the Good Shepherd, I know each of my sheep by name and lead them to green pastures and still waters. I am with them in every moment, guiding them and protecting them from harm. I lay down my life for the sheep, for I love them deeply and would not let anything separate them from my care. My voice is familiar to my sheep, and they follow me, trusting in my leading. In times of danger or difficulty, I am their refuge, and I go after the one lost sheep to bring them back into the fold. The care I give is not temporary or shallow, it is eternal and complete. My protection is unshakable, and I ensure that none of my sheep are lost. I came to seek the lost and to rescue them, leading them to a life of abundance and peace. When you are weary, come to me, and I will provide the rest you need. I am the Good Shepherd, and I will never leave you or forsake you. I am the light of the world. I am the light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. In me, there is no darkness at all. I bring light to the world, illuminating your path and showing you the way to walk. When you follow me, you walk in the light, and you will never stumble. I have come to expose the darkness of sin and to bring the truth of God's love and grace. Through my light, you can see the beauty of God's creation, the truth of His word, and the hope of His promises. My light shines in your heart, dispelling the shadows of fear, doubt, and confusion. I am the guiding light in your life, and I give clarity to your steps. Just as a city on a hill cannot be hidden, I have called you to reflect my light to those around you, so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. In the light of my presence, there is joy, peace, and purpose. Come and walk in my light, and you will find your way to the fullness of life. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the one who brings life out of death. Even if you die, yet shall you live. I have the power to raise you from the dead, and in me, you will experience the resurrection of your body and soul. I came that you might have eternal life, and I proved my power over death when I rose from the grave. My resurrection is the guarantee of your resurrection, and through me, you will be given a new body that will never decay or die. In the face of death, I offer the hope of eternal life. My resurrection also brings life to your soul, for I breathe my spirit into you, and you are made alive in me. The life I offer is not just a future hope but a present reality that transforms you from the inside out. When you believe in me, you will never experience eternal separation from God, but will have the assurance of life with Him forever. I am the resurrection and the life, and I invite you to experience the fullness of life that only I can give. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Before anything was created, I existed, and at the end of all things, I will remain. I am the Eternal One, unchanging and constant throughout all of time. Every moment of your life is under my sovereign control, and I know the beginning from the end. I am the creator of all things, and I will bring all things to their ultimate fulfillment in me. There is no part of your life that is outside of my knowledge or care. I am with you in the beginning of your journey, 
and I will be with you at its completion. You can trust in my eternal plan, for I am the Alpha and the Omega, the one who holds all things together. I am the one who writes the story of your life, and I will bring it to its perfect conclusion. Rest in the knowledge that I am the eternal God, and that I hold all things in my hands. I am the true vine. I am the true vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit by itself, you cannot bear fruit unless you are connected to me. I provide the nourishment and strength you need to live a fruitful life, and through me, you will bear the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As you abide in me, you will grow and thrive, and your life will reflect my character. You will be fruitful in every good work, and your life will bring glory to the Father. I prune the branches that bear fruit so that they may bear even more, and I remove the branches that do not bear fruit. Remain in me, and you will be fruitful, living a life that honors God and blesses those around you. I am the true vine, and in me, you find your purpose and fulfillment. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the only way to the Father, the only path that leads to eternal life. No one comes to God except through me. I am the truth that illuminates the mind, revealing the true nature of God and the world. The truth I speak brings freedom, and those who know the truth will be set free from sin and death. I am the life that satisfies the deepest longings of the human heart. In me, you find abundant life, life that is rich, meaningful, and eternal. All other ways lead to emptiness but I am the way that leads to true fulfillment. In me, you find the answers to all of life's questions and the guidance you need to walk in the path of righteousness. Follow me, and you will know the truth and experience the life that I offer. I am the only way to the Father, and through me, you will find your ultimate purpose and destiny. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and I call you to follow me. I am the Lamb of God. I am the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I was sent as the perfect sacrifice to atone for your sins. Just as the Passover Lamb's blood was shed to protect the Israelites from death, I shed my blood to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and to bring you into a right relationship with God. My sacrifice on the cross was the ultimate act of love, and through it, the power of sin and death was defeated. I am the Lamb who was slain, and through my death, you have been redeemed and reconciled to God. When you trust in me, you are forgiven and made clean, and the guilt of your sin is removed. I am the Lamb who was worthy to open the scroll and bring about the fulfillment of God's plan for creation. Through my blood, you have been purchased, and you belong to God. I am the Lamb of God, and I offer you the gift of forgiveness and eternal life. I am the Redeemer. I am the one who redeems you from the curse of sin and the consequences of your past. Through my sacrifice, I have paid the price for your freedom, and I have rescued you from the power of sin. When you place your faith in me, I redeem your life, restoring what was broken and making all things new. I take what is lost and bring it back to life, transforming it for my glory. Through my redemption, you are set free from the bondage of sin and death, and you are given a new identity as a child of God. I redeem your brokenness and give you a future filled with hope. In me, you find the redemption of your soul, and through my work on the cross, you are reconciled to the Father. I am your Redeemer, and I have come to restore you to a place of favor and blessing with God. Trust in my redemptive work and know that I have made all things right through my love and sacrifice. I am the Prince of Peace. I bring peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that is not dependent on your circumstances but is rooted in the assurance of my love and sovereignty. In the midst of turmoil and confusion, I offer you my peace, 
a peace that calms your heart and steadies your soul. I am the one who reconciles you to God, bringing peace between you and your Creator. Through my sacrifice, I have removed the barrier of sin and made peace possible. I also bring peace to your relationships with others, teaching you to love your neighbor as yourself. My peace guards your heart and mind, keeping you from fear, anxiety, and worry. In me, you find rest and tranquility, for I am the Prince of Peace, and I offer you my peace as a gift. Do not let your heart be troubled, for I am with you, and in my presence, you will find peace. I am the bread of life. I am the true bread from heaven, the sustenance for your soul. Just as your body needs physical food to survive, your spirit needs me to thrive. I came to nourish you, to fill the hunger in your heart that nothing else can satisfy. When you eat of this bread, you will never go hungry again, for I am the eternal source of life. I satisfy your deepest longings and provide you with the strength you need for each day. In me, you find spiritual sustenance that enables you to grow, to walk with God, and to live a life of purpose. Just as the Israelites ate manna in the desert, I offer you the true bread that comes from heaven. I am the bread of life that brings eternal satisfaction. As you partake of me, you are filled with my presence and my truth, which gives you the nourishment to endure life's challenges. Feed on me, and you will live forever. I am the Savior of the world. I have come into the world to save you from sin, from death, and from the eternal separation from God. My mission is to seek and to save the lost, to offer forgiveness and hope to those who are far from God. I am the Savior who delivers you from the power of darkness and transfers you into the kingdom of light. I came to take your place on the cross, to bear the punishment for your sin, so that you could be set free. My love for you is so great that I gave my life as a ransom for you. In me, you find the salvation that brings you back into relationship with God, and I offer you the promise of eternal life. Through me, you are saved from the wrath of God and given a new identity as a beloved child of God. I am the Savior of the world, and through me, you have been given the greatest gift of all, the gift of salvation and eternal life. I am the door. I am the door that leads to safety, security, and abundant life. Anyone who enters through me will be saved, and they will find pasture. I am the only way into the kingdom of God, and there is no other door through which you can find true life. By entering through me, you are entering into God's grace and protection. I open the way for you to experience all the blessings of a relationship with God. I am the door to forgiveness, healing, peace, and eternal life. Without me, you are lost, but through me, you are brought into the fold of God's family. I offer you the opportunity to come and find rest, to be freed from the burdens of sin, and to enter into the fullness of God's promises. I am the door, and I invite you to come in and be with me forever. I am the High Priest. I am the High Priest who intercedes on your behalf before God. As the perfect mediator, I offer up prayers and sacrifices on your behalf, making it possible for you to have direct access to the Father. Through my death on the cross, I have torn the veil that separated you from God, and I have made a way for you to approach the throne of grace with confidence. My work as your High Priest is ongoing, for I continually intercede for you, ensuring that you are never separated from the Father's love. I understand your struggles and temptations, for I was tempted in every way, yet I remained without sin. I am the one who bridges the gap between a holy God and sinful humanity, making reconciliation possible. As your High Priest, I offer my perfect sacrifice on your behalf, and I bring you near to God, where you can receive mercy and grace. I am the one who restores you to the Father and makes you whole. I am the rock of salvation. I am the solid foundation on which your life is built. When the storms of life come, when the winds blow and the waters rise, I am the rock that will not be moved. 
I am unshakable, and when you build your life on me, you will stand firm, no matter what challenges you face. My love and faithfulness are your secure foundation, and I will never leave you or forsake you. I am the rock that provides refuge and shelter, a stronghold where you can find safety and peace. When you are weary, I am the rock on which you can rest. When you are in need of strength, I am the rock that sustains you. I am your refuge and fortress, and in me, you will find security. The storms of life will come and go, but my love for you remains steady and constant. I am the rock of your salvation, and in me, you find rest and peace. I am the comforter. I am the comforter who comes alongside you in your times of need. When you are brokenhearted, I am the one who heals you. When you are grieving, I bring comfort and peace to your soul. I know the pain of this world, and I am with you in every moment, offering my presence as a source of strength and encouragement. My Holy Spirit is the Comforter who dwells within you, reminding you of my promises, guiding you into all truth, and bringing you peace. When you are weary or burdened, I am the Comforter who gives you rest. In your darkest moments, I bring light and hope, reminding you that you are not alone. I am here to help you, to carry you, and to bring healing to your soul. Trust in me, and you will experience the comfort of my love and presence. I am the vine and you are the branches. I am the true vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Just as a branch is connected to the vine to receive nourishment and life, you must remain in me to bear fruit. I provide all that you need for spiritual growth, and as you remain in me, you will produce the fruit of the Spirit. This fruit will be seen in your love for others, your joy in the Lord, your peace in the midst of trials, and your patience with others. As you are rooted in me, your life will reflect my character and bring glory to the Father. I prune the branches that bear fruit so that they may bear even more, ensuring that your life continues to flourish. By remaining in me, you are part of a fruitful and vibrant relationship with God, and you will experience the fullness of His blessings in your life. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I am the Eternal One, the one who has no beginning and no end. Before time began, I was already there, and when time comes to an end, I will still be. I am the author and the finisher of your faith. I know the beginning of your story, and I know how it will end. Everything that happens in your life is part of my eternal plan, and I am working all things together for your good. I am the one who makes all things new and I will bring about the final restoration of all things in my perfect time. My sovereignty extends over all of creation, and nothing can thwart my will. I am the Alpha and the Omega, and in me, you have the assurance that your life is in the hands of the one who controls all of history. I am the shepherd and overseer of your soul. I am the shepherd who tends to your needs, guides you along the right path, and watches over your soul. Just as a shepherd cares for his flock, I care for you. I know your every need, and I am with you in every moment, providing for you and protecting you. I lead you beside still waters, I restore your soul, and I walk with you through the darkest valleys. I am your shepherd, and I will never leave you or forsake you. You are my precious sheep, and I give my life for you. I am the one who watches over you keeping you safe and secure, and I lead you into abundant life. You can trust in my guidance, for I know the way, and I will lead you to green pastures and still waters. I am the shepherd and overseer of your soul, and in me, you find rest and peace. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the one who gives life, both now and in eternity. Even though you may face death in this world, I have conquered death, and through me, you can have eternal life. I am the resurrection, which means that death has no power over you when you are in me. Just as I rose from the dead, 
you too will experience the power of resurrection, both in your physical body one day and in the spiritual life you experience now. The hope of eternal life rests in me, and through my resurrection, you are assured that death does not have the final word. I give life that is abundant and eternal. Through faith in me, you are assured of the hope of resurrection, where death will be swallowed up in victory. Your spirit is made alive in me, and your hope for eternity is secured by my victory over death. I am the light of the world. I am the light that shines in the darkness, and no darkness can overcome it. In a world full of confusion, suffering, and sin, I bring light to your path. Just as light dispels darkness, I illuminate the way for you to walk in truth and righteousness. When you walk with me, you will never walk in darkness, you will have the light of life guiding you, showing you the right way to live. I came to reveal the Father to you, to open your eyes to his love and truth. The world may try to blind you with lies, but my light will always shine brighter. When you follow me, you will walk in clarity and understanding. I illuminate your heart with peace, joy, and hope, dispelling the darkness of fear, confusion, and sin. Through my light, you will find true freedom, and you will reflect my light to others, showing them the way to salvation. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the only way to the Father. No one can come to God except through me. I am the truth that sets you free from the lies of the world. Every word I speak is truth, and when you live according to my truth, you experience freedom from the chains of sin. I am the life that brings fullness and purpose to your existence. In me, you find meaning, peace, and joy. There is no other path that leads to eternal life except through me. I am the way that shows you how to live, the truth that reveals the reality of God's will, and the life that transforms your heart and mind. In a world full of many paths, I am the one true way to eternal life with God. My way is narrow, but it is the path that leads to true peace and eternal joy. When you follow me, you find the life you were created to live, a life that reflects God's glory and brings hope to the world. I am the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd who knows my sheep, and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, I know my own, and I laid down my life for the sheep. I care for you, protect you, and guide you in all things. You are never alone, for I am always with you, watching over you and providing for you. When you face danger or difficulty, I am there to defend you. My love for you is deeper than you can imagine, and I will never abandon you. I know your needs, and I lead you beside still waters and green pastures. I carry you when you are weak, and I restore you when you are weary. I am the one who searches for you when you are lost, bringing you back into the fold. You are precious to me, and I will never let you go. I give you my peace, and my love for you is constant and unchanging. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I have no beginning and no end, for I am eternal. Everything that exists was created by me, and everything will find its fulfillment in me. I hold all of history in my hands, and I know the plans I have for you. From the first breath of creation to the final fulfillment of all things, I am present and at work. Every moment of your life is part of my eternal plan, and I am guiding you toward the ultimate fulfillment of my purposes. You can trust in my sovereignty, knowing that I am in control of all things. I have an eternal perspective, and I see the beginning from the end. I have created a good plan for you, and I will bring it to completion. The world will pass away, but I remain. You can place your hope in my eternal promises, for I will never change. My word is true, and it stands firm forever. When all else fades away, I will remain. I am the King of kings and Lord of lords. I am the sovereign ruler over all of creation. 
Every kingdom, every nation, and every ruler is subject to my authority. I reign from the throne of heaven, and all power and authority belong to me. My kingdom is everlasting, and it will never be shaken. I am the king who rules with justice, mercy, and truth. My reign is not of this world, but it is a reign of righteousness and peace. Every knee will bow before me, and every tongue will confess that I am Lord. Though I came as a humble servant, I will return as a conquering king, and I will establish my kingdom in fullness. Those who trust in me will share in my glory and reign with me forever. My kingdom is a kingdom of love, peace, and justice, where there is no more sorrow, pain, or death. You are a part of my eternal kingdom, and you are an heir to all the blessings it brings. I am the Lamb of God. I am the sacrificial Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. My blood was shed for the forgiveness of your sins, and through my sacrifice, you can be made right with God. Just as the Passover Lamb was sacrificed to protect the Israelites from death, I was sacrificed to protect you from eternal separation from God. My sacrifice was the ultimate act of love, and through it, I offer you the gift of redemption and salvation. The Lamb was without blemish, pure and perfect, just as I am. I took your place on the cross, bearing the weight of your sin and the wrath of God, so that you could be forgiven and reconciled to God. My blood cleanses you from all unrighteousness and makes you holy in the sight of God. Through my sacrifice, you are given the gift of eternal life, and I invite you to come to me for forgiveness, healing, and restoration. I am the bread of life. I am the true bread from heaven that gives life to the world. Just as bread sustains the body, I sustain your soul. When you come to me, you will never hunger again, for I provide everything you need for your spiritual nourishment. My word is the bread that satisfies your deepest longing, filling you with truth, peace, and joy. In a world full of temporary satisfactions, I am the source of everlasting fulfillment. Just as the manna fell from heaven to sustain the Israelites in the wilderness, I am the bread that came down from heaven to give you eternal life. Whoever comes to me and partakes of me will be satisfied. My bread is not physical, it is spiritual, and it gives life to your soul. By partaking in me, you receive the fullness of life, and I will raise you up on the last day. I am the eternal sustenance that never runs out and never grows stale. When you come to me, you receive the true and lasting nourishment that your soul craves. I am the true vine. I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit unless it is connected to the vine, so you cannot bear spiritual fruit unless you remain connected to me. I am the source of your life and vitality. Without me, you have no strength to live out your calling or fulfill the purpose for which you were created. By staying rooted in me, you are nourished and equipped to live a fruitful life. When you abide in me, my love flows through you, and you produce fruit that glorifies God. This fruit is evidence of your relationship with me, and it includes the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. In a world that often seeks to live independently of God, I remind you that true success comes not from self-reliance, but from remaining in me. When you remain connected to the true vine, you will find the strength, purpose, and fulfillment that comes from living in harmony with God's will. I am the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. I care for you as a shepherd cares for his flock. I know each one of my sheep by name, and I lead them beside still waters and green pastures. I am not like a hired hand who flees when danger comes, I am committed to protecting you, guiding you, and keeping you safe. When you are lost, I will search for you until I find you. My love for you is unchanging, 
and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I know the needs of my sheep, and I provide for them abundantly. I give you rest and peace, and I restore your soul. In times of distress or uncertainty, you can trust that I am with you, leading you through the darkest valleys. My rod and staff comfort you, and I will guide you on the path of righteousness for my name's sake. When you wander, I will bring you back, gently guiding you toward the safety of my fold. My love for you is sacrificial, I laid down my life for you on the cross, and I offer you the security of eternal life with me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the only way to the Father. No one comes to the Father except through me. I am the truth that reveals the Father's will and purpose for your life. The world offers many philosophies and ideas, but only my truth brings true freedom and life. My word is the absolute truth, and when you live according to it, you live in harmony with the will of God. I am the life, the one who gives you purpose, fulfillment, and hope. In a world filled with confusion and despair, I am the one who brings clarity and peace. When you walk in my way, you find the life you were created for, a life of joy, peace, and eternal significance. There is no other path to true happiness and fulfillment apart from me. By trusting in me as the way, the truth, and the life, you are assured of a future with God and an abundant life here on earth. I am the answer to your deepest longings, and I offer you the life that satisfies your soul. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I am eternal, and all of history is under my sovereignty. I was there at the creation of the world, and I will be there at the end, bringing all things to their final fulfillment. Everything finds its origin and its end in me. I hold the future in my hands, and nothing is outside of my control. I am the creator of all things, and I have a purpose for your life that extends into eternity. You are part of my eternal plan, and I know the plans I have for you. Though life may feel uncertain at times, you can have confidence that I hold your future, and I will guide you to the place where my plan is fulfilled. My presence is eternal, and I will be with you through every stage of life, from the beginning to the end. I will bring all things to completion, and I will create a new heaven and a new earth where you will dwell with me forever in perfect peace. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the one who brings life to the dead. Just as I raised Lazarus from the dead, I have the power to bring life to every area of your life, even those that seem beyond hope. In me, death has no power, and I promise to raise you up to eternal life. This life is not limited to physical existence but includes spiritual resurrection, the power to be made alive in me, now and forever. I came to give you life in abundance, a life that overflows with my presence, peace, and joy. Though you may face trials and challenges in this life, you can rest assured that I have conquered death and that you will share in my victory over it. I have prepared a place for you where death will be no more, or you will experience eternal life with me. I am the source of all life, and through me, you will experience resurrection in every sense, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. The promise of resurrection is a promise of hope, renewal, and restoration, and it is available to all who trust in me. I am the light of the world. I am the light that shines in the darkness, and no darkness can overcome it. In a world filled with sin, confusion, and hopelessness, I am the light that brings truth, clarity, and direction. When you follow me, you will not walk in darkness, for I will guide your steps and illuminate your path. Just as light dispels darkness, my presence dispels the darkness in your life, bringing peace, joy, and understanding. You are called to be a light in the world, reflecting my light to those around you. When you walk in my light, you live in truth, and you have the confidence that you are following the right path. My light will always shine, even in the darkest times. I am the source of all wisdom and understanding, 
and I offer you my light freely. I am the living water. I am the living water that quenches your thirst forever. Just as water is essential for physical life, I am essential for your spiritual life. Without me, your soul will be thirsty, seeking satisfaction in things that never truly satisfy. But when you come to me, you drink from a well that never runs dry. I offer you living water that springs up to eternal life, filling you with the joy and peace that only I can give. You no longer have to search for fulfillment in empty things, because I am the source of life and contentment. When you drink from the well of my love, you will never thirst again. My living water nourishes your soul, refreshes your spirit, and restores you to a place of vitality and strength. When you are weary and burdened, come to me, and I will give you rest. I am the living water that flows freely to all who believe, and it is through me that you find the fullness of life. I am the Lamb of God. I am the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I came to be the perfect sacrifice for your sins, to pay the price you could not pay. Through my death on the cross, I bore your sins and took upon myself the punishment that you deserve. My sacrifice was once and for all, and it is through my blood that you are forgiven and made clean. There is no other way to be reconciled to God except through my sacrifice. Through my death, I have destroyed the power of sin and death, and I offer you forgiveness, healing, and restoration. The Lamb of God was slain for the redemption of humanity, and through me, you can be made new. I am the fulfillment of the Old Testament sacrifices, the spotless Lamb that takes away your sin and restores your relationship with the Father. By placing your faith in me, you receive the gift of eternal life, and you are washed clean from all your iniquities. I am the King of Kings. I am the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the ruler over all creation. Though I came to earth in humility, I am the Eternal King, and one day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that I am Lord. My kingdom is not of this world, but it is a kingdom of righteousness, peace, and justice. In my kingdom, love rules, and the broken are healed. I am the ruler who serves his people, laying down my life for them. My reign is one of grace and mercy, and I invite you to be part of my eternal kingdom. The world may offer temporary power, but my kingdom is eternal, and its riches are greater than anything the world can offer. When you follow me, you are part of my kingdom, and you inherit the promises of God. I will one day return in glory to establish my kingdom on earth, and my reign will never end. You can trust in my sovereignty, knowing that I am in control of all things, and that I will bring justice, peace, and righteousness to the world. I am the Comforter. I am the Comforter who comes alongside you in times of trouble. When you are grieving, struggling, or feeling alone, I am the one who offers you comfort and peace. My presence is a source of solace and hope, and I offer you the assurance that you are never alone. The Holy Spirit, whom I sent to be with you, is the Comforter who dwells within you, guiding, teaching, and empowering you. In times of pain or loss, I am near to you, and I promise to heal your broken heart. I have compassion for your suffering, and I am with you through every trial you face. My comfort is not temporary but eternal, and I will never leave you or forsake you. When you feel weak, I give you strength. When you feel lost, I guide you. My peace is not the peace that the world offers, but a deep, abiding peace that transcends understanding. In the midst of your struggles, I give you the peace that comes from knowing that I am with you always. I am the door. I am the door, the gate through which you must enter to be saved. There is no other way to enter into eternal life except through me. Just as a sheep enters the fold through the gate, so you must come to me to find safety, security, and eternal life. I am the door to the Father's house, and through me, you have access to God. I protect and provide for my sheep, 
leading them to green pastures and still waters. By entering through me, you are entering into a life of purpose, peace, and eternal significance. I am the door that leads to abundant life, the life that I came to give you. If you choose to enter through me, you will find rest for your soul and the security of my care. In a world full of false promises, I am the only true door that leads to salvation. I am the only way to experience the fullness of God's love and grace. I am the Advocate. I am the Advocate who intercedes for you before the Father. When you fall short, when you sin, I am the one who pleads your case before God. I am your defender, your protector, and your intercessor. I know your heart, and I understand your struggles. I do not condemn you, but I offer you grace and mercy. When you confess your sins, I am faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I stand in your place, representing you before the throne of God, and I speak on your behalf. I am the one who understands the depths of your pain and sin, and I offer you the gift of forgiveness and reconciliation. As your advocate, I fight for you, and I stand with you in every circumstance. You are not alone in your struggles, I am with you, advocating for your behalf. I am the healer. I am the healer of your body, soul, and spirit. I came to heal the brokenhearted and to bind up your wounds. Whether your pain is physical, emotional, or spiritual, I am the one who has the power to heal you. I demonstrated my healing power during my time on earth, and I continue to heal today. Through my wounds, you are healed. I have the power to restore what is broken, to bring life to what is dead, and to make all things new. If you are struggling with illness, depression, or spiritual brokenness, come to me, and I will heal you. My healing is not just for the body, it is for the soul. I can heal your inner hurts, your fears, and your doubts. When you place your trust in me, I bring healing to every area of your life, and I restore you to wholeness. My healing is a reflection of my love for you, and it is available to all who call on my name. I am the Redeemer. I am the Redeemer who rescues you from the bondage of sin. I paid the price for your freedom with my own life. I am the one who restores what was lost and brings back what was taken. Through my sacrifice, I have redeemed you from the curse of sin and death, and I offer you the gift of eternal life. You are no longer a slave to sin, but a child of God, set free to live in the fullness of His love and grace. My redemption is complete and perfect, and nothing can separate you from my love. I have bought you with a price, and you belong to me. When you trust in my redemption, you are set free from the power of sin, and you are given a new identity as a beloved child of God. Through my redeeming work, you are made whole, restored, and reconciled to the Father. I am the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. Just as a shepherd cares for and protects his flock, so I care for you. I lead you beside still waters and green pastures, guiding you on the path of righteousness for my name's sake. When you stray, I search for you and bring you back, for none of my sheep will be lost. I know each one of you by name, and I call you to follow me. My heart is filled with love and compassion for you, and I am always with you, watching over you. I do not let you wander without protection, and I give you everything you need for your journey. I lead you with wisdom and understanding, showing you the way even when the path is difficult. Though you may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you need not fear, for I am with you, my rod and staff comforting you. My love is steadfast, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. When you feel lost, call out to me, and I will guide you back to safety. I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life that sustains you. Just as bread nourishes the body, I nourish your soul. Without me, you will hunger and thirst for meaning, purpose, and fulfillment, but when you come to me, 
you will never hunger again. I am the true bread that came down from heaven, the bread of eternal life. Whoever feeds on me will live forever. My body was broken for you, and my blood was shed to give you eternal life. When you partake of me, you receive the life that I offer, a life that transcends physical death. I am the source of all spiritual nourishment, and through me, you are sustained for the journey of life. I satisfy your deepest needs and desires, and I fill the empty spaces within you. In the wilderness of life, I am your bread, providing for you day by day. When you partake of my life, you are filled with the strength and grace to live out your calling. I am the bread of life, and in me, you find everything you need. I am the true vine. I am the true vine, and you are the branches. As a branch must remain connected to the vine to bear fruit, so you must remain in me to live a fruitful life. I am the source of all spiritual life, and apart from me, you can do nothing. When you abide in me, my life flows through you, and you will bear much fruit, fruit that will last for eternity. I prune you to make you even more fruitful, refining you and shaping you into the person I have called you to be. If you remain in my love, you will experience true joy, for I am the vine that produces good fruit. My father is the gardener, tending to each branch with care, and he removes any that do not bear fruit. I am the vine that connects you to the Father, and through me, you have access to all the riches of His grace. In me, you find your purpose and fulfillment, for when you abide in me, you live according to the plan I have for your life. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world, shining in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. I came to dispel the darkness of sin and despair, to give hope to the hopeless and light to those walking in the shadows. My light is not temporary but eternal, and it shines in every corner of your life. When you walk in my light, you no longer stumble in the darkness. I illuminate the path before you, showing you the way to the Father and revealing the truth that brings freedom. My light brings healing, understanding, and clarity, casting out the lies and confusion that seek to blind you. I call you to follow me, for whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. My light reveals the beauty and goodness of God's creation and the truth of who you are. When you walk in my light, you reflect my love and grace to the world, becoming a beacon of hope and truth to those around you. In me, you have the light that guides you, strengthens you, and leads you to eternal life. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection and the life, the one who has conquered death. In me, death has no power, for I have defeated it once and for all. Whoever believes in me, though they die, will live, for I have the power to raise the dead to life. When you place your trust in me, you receive the gift of eternal life, and death no longer holds fear for you. I am the source of all life both now and forever. I came to bring life in abundance, life that never ends. When you come to me, you are made alive, and I give you a hope that transcends the grave. Through my resurrection, I have proven my power over sin and death, and in me, you share in this victory. I am the resurrection and the life, and through me, you have the promise of life eternal with God. Even in the face of death, you can have peace, knowing that I have prepared a place for you in my Father's house. The hope of the resurrection is the anchor for your soul, and because I live, you also will live. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. I am the only path to eternal life and the only source of truth. The world may offer many ways, but they all lead to emptiness. I am the one true way, and by following me, you will find the truth that sets you free. I am the embodiment of truth, and in me, there is no falsehood. The life I offer is abundant and eternal, a life that is fully alive in the presence of God. 
I am the way that leads you to the Father's love, the truth that reveals God's heart, and the life that you were created to live. In me, you find the fullness of God's promises, and through me, you are reconciled to the Father. There is no other way, no other truth, and no other life apart from me. When you follow me, you walk in the light, and you experience the peace and joy that comes from knowing the truth of who I am. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. From the very start of creation to its final fulfillment, I am there, the Eternal One who transcends time and space. I am the first and the last, and everything finds its meaning in me. I hold all of history in my hands, and I am the fulfillment of every promise made by God. The beginning of your life and the end of your journey are all in my care, and I walk with you through every season. When you trust in me, you know that your story is part of a greater, eternal plan, and you can rest assured that I am with you from start to finish. I am the Eternal One who was, who is, and who is to come. Nothing will ever separate you from me, and you can trust that I will complete the work I began in you. As the Alpha and the Omega, I am sovereign over all things, and I will bring everything to its perfect conclusion in my time. I am the door. I am the door through which you must enter to receive eternal life. There is no other entrance but through me. I stand at the door and knock, inviting you into a relationship with God the Father. If you open the door of your heart and invite me in, I will come and dwell with you. Just as a door provides access and protection, so I provide access to God's kingdom and protection from the evil one. When you come to me, you enter into a safe place, a place of belonging where you can rest, be nourished, and find peace. I am the door to abundant life, and through me, you receive grace, mercy, and forgiveness. I am the door of salvation, and anyone who enters through me will be saved. You do not need to search elsewhere for security or peace because in me, you have everything you need. When you walk through this door, you walk in freedom, knowing that you are secure in my love. I am the living water. I am the living water that quenches your thirst. Just as water sustains the body, I sustain your soul. Whoever drinks of the water I give will never thirst again, for the water I offer is the water of eternal life. This living water springs up within you, bringing renewal, healing, and restoration. In the same way that your body needs physical water to survive, your spirit needs the living water I offer to thrive. I am the wellspring of all life, and when you drink from me, you are filled with the peace and joy that only I can give. The world offers temporary satisfaction, but in me, you find eternal satisfaction. I give you living water that flows from the Father's heart, and when you drink, you are connected to the source of all life. No matter how dry or parched your soul may feel, come to me, and I will fill you to overflowing with my presence. Through my spirit, I give you the living water that refreshes your spirit, guides your steps, and empowers you to live out your purpose. I am the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd who watches over you and cares for your well-being. Just as a shepherd tends to his flock, guiding them to green pastures and still waters, so I lead you to places of peace and rest. When you are weary and burdened, I am here to give you rest. I seek out the lost sheep and bring them back into the fold. I lay down my life for you, protecting you from harm and keeping you safe from the dangers of the world. No one can snatch you out of my hand, for I am your shepherd, and I protect my flock with love and care. In times of danger, I stand between you and your enemies, guarding you from all harm. I know you by name, and I call you into a personal relationship with me. My love for you is unconditional, and I care deeply for your spiritual health and well-being. When you are struggling, I am here to guide you, heal your wounds, and restore your soul. You can trust in my care, for I am the Good Shepherd who will never leave you. I am the resurrection and the life. 
I am the resurrection and the life, the one who has conquered death. Though you may experience physical death, you do not need to fear because I am the one who gives you eternal life. I have overcome the grave, and because I live, you too will live. When you place your trust in me, you have the assurance of eternal life, a life that transcends death. I am the hope of resurrection, and in me, you find victory over sin and death. I came to bring life in abundance, and through my resurrection, I offer you the gift of new life, a life that is filled with hope and promise. Even in the face of death, you can have peace, knowing that I hold the keys to death and Hades. I am the resurrection and the life, and through me, you can experience the power of resurrection in your own life. Your future is secure in me, and no power can separate you from the eternal life I offer. I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life, the sustainer of your soul. Just as bread is a staple of physical nourishment, I am the bread that gives you eternal life. When you come to me, you are nourished spiritually, filled with the life-giving power of my presence. Whoever eats of this bread will never hunger again, for I satisfy the deepest cravings of your heart. I am the bread that came down from heaven, and those who partake of me will live forever. My body was broken for you, and through my sacrifice, you receive the gift of eternal life. The bread I offer is not just for physical sustenance but for spiritual renewal, healing, and transformation. When you feed on me, you are filled with my love, peace, and joy. I am the bread that nourishes your spirit, strengthens your faith, and empowers you to live according to God's will. In me, you find true satisfaction, for I am the bread of life that satisfies the deepest longings of your soul. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. From the very creation of the world to its final redemption, I am the one who holds everything together. I am the starting point of all things, and I am the one who will bring everything to its ultimate fulfillment. I have always existed, and I will always exist. I am the eternal God who was, is, and will be. I have a plan for you that spans from the beginning of your life to the end of all things. You are part of my eternal purpose, and in me, you find your ultimate meaning. I am the Alpha and the Omega, and I hold the keys to history, guiding everything toward its appointed end. I will bring justice and restoration to the world, and all things will be made new. Trust in me, for I am the beginning and the end, and I am with you every step of the way. Your story is part of my grand narrative, and I will fulfill my promises to you. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world, the one who dispels the darkness and brings clarity to your life. In a world full of confusion and uncertainty, I am the light that leads you to truth. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. I came into the world to shine my light on the path of salvation, guiding you to the Father. When you walk in my light, you are free from the darkness of sin, guilt, and shame. My light reveals the truth about God, about yourself, and about the world. It shows you the way to live in righteousness and peace. I am the source of all illumination, both in this world and in the world to come. My light brings healing to your soul, warmth to your heart, and hope for your future. In the darkness, my light shines brightest, and it is through my light that you see the beauty and goodness of God's creation. I am the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd who knows you intimately and cares for you deeply. I lead you to still waters and green pastures, providing for your needs. I protect you from the wolves and dangers that threaten you, and I lay down my life for you. You are my precious sheep, and I will never abandon you. When you are lost, I will search for you, bringing you back into my fold. I know your name and your heart, and I care about every detail of your life. You are never alone because I am always with you, guiding you and protecting you. My love for you is unconditional, 
and I will not let anything separate you from my care. Trust in me, for I am the good shepherd who will lead you safely home. I am the door. I am the door through which you enter into a relationship with God the Father. No one can come to the Father except through me. I stand as the gateway to salvation, offering you the opportunity to enter into the fullness of life with God. When you walk through the door of faith, you are welcomed into a new life of grace, love, and purpose. I protect those who enter through me, and I give them rest. You can trust in my care, for I am the door that leads to eternal life. Through me, you are made right with God, and you are given the gift of eternal security. Come to me, and you will find the door wide open, ready to embrace you into the Father's love. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way to the Father, the only path that leads to salvation. There are many roads in this world, but only one leads to eternal life, and that path is through me. I am the truth that reveals the nature of God and the truth about humanity. In me, you find ultimate reality, everything else is but a shadow of the truth that I embody. I am the life that brings you true joy, fulfillment, and purpose. Without me, life is empty and meaningless. I came to give you life in abundance, to restore the brokenness caused by sin, and to offer a hope that never fades. When you walk in the way that I set before you, you walk in freedom, not bound by the chains of sin and death, but free to live in relationship with the Father. Trust in the truth that I speak, for it is the only truth that can set you free, and receive the life that I give, a life that transcends death and brings eternal joy. I am the vine, and you are the branches. I am the vine that nourishes and sustains you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit unless it is connected to the vine, so you cannot bear spiritual fruit unless you remain in me. I am the source of all life and growth, and in me, you find your strength and purpose. Apart from me, you can do nothing, for I am the one who enables you to live according to God's will. When you remain in me, you are fruitful, bringing glory to the Father through your actions, your love, and your obedience. I prune the branches to remove anything that hinders growth, and through that process, you are shaped into the image of God. My love flows through you like sap through the branches, and it is that love that empowers you to love others. You are called to bear fruit that lasts, and by staying connected to me, you will bear much fruit. Without me, there is no spiritual vitality, but in me, you thrive and flourish. I am the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I am the King of all creation, the sovereign ruler of the universe. Every authority in heaven and on earth is subject to me, for I reign with power and glory. I am the eternal King, the one who was, and is, and is to come. My kingdom is not of this world but it is a kingdom of justice, peace, and righteousness that will never end. I have all authority, and I will one day return in glory to judge the living and the dead. Every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that I am Lord. In my kingdom, there is no injustice, no suffering, no sin, for I reign in perfect holiness and love. When you acknowledge me as your king, you submit to my will and find freedom in living under my rule. I am the king who serves his people, laying down my life for them. You are citizens of my kingdom, and as such, you are called to live according to the values of my kingdom, spreading my love and justice to the world. I am the king who brings peace to the brokenhearted and hope to the hopeless. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I am the beginning of all things, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Before anything was made, I was. I spoke the world into existence, and everything was created through me. From the moment of creation to the fulfillment of God's eternal plan, I am the one who holds everything together. I am the end, the one who will bring history to its completion. The world as you know it will one day pass away but my kingdom will never end. 
The Alpha and Omega are not just titles for me, they describe my eternal nature. I am the eternal God, the one who existed before time began and will continue to exist when time as you know it is no more. The beginning and the end of all things are in my hands, and I have a purpose for everything. When you trust in me, you are trusting in the one who knows the beginning and the end, who is in control of everything in between. Your story is part of my eternal story, and I will bring it to a glorious conclusion. You can rest assured that I will fulfill every promise I have made, for I am the Alpha and the Omega, the one who has always been and always will be. I am the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. I am the Lamb of God, the perfect sacrifice who takes away the sin of the world. From the beginning of time, God's plan was to send a Savior who would take the punishment for sin on behalf of humanity. I am the fulfillment of that plan. I willingly laid down my life, shedding my blood as the perfect sacrifice for the forgiveness of your sins. Through my death, the power of sin was broken, and through my resurrection, victory over death was secured.